Ron Stallworth was the first African-American detective in the history of the Colorado Springs Police Department. One day he was sitting in his office, reading the newspaper and he saw this classified dad. It simply said, Ku Klux Klan, for information, and then there was a P.O. box. He actually wrote a letter to that P.O. box and in the letter he basically said. He wanted to join in order to stop the abuse of the white race. He then put it in the mail, and forgot about it. About a week or two later, Stallworth got a phone call from a gentleman, who described himself as Ken O'Dell, the local organizer for the Colorado Springs chapter of the KKK, and he wanted to know why he wanted to be in the Klan. A black man had the audacity to date his sister and it made him cringe. Stallworth added he wanted to join to stop the abuse of the white race. You're just the kind of guy we're looking for, when can we meet? A. With that, he ended up launching a seven and a half month undercover investigation into the KKK. But would meeting Odell in person would be a major issue based on the obvious fact that Stallworth was a black man? Luckily he was quick with the wits and came up with a plan. Albeit a long shot. Introducing Chuck. Chuck was a narcotics officer. He was a good cop. He was a good undercover cop, and he was about Stallworth's height and weight so when Ken O'Dell asked how he would know him at this meeting, he basically described Chuck. When he sent Chuck into the meeting, he gave Chuck any ID he had, that was, minus a picture. He had credit cards, library card, social security card, anything that identified him as Ron Stallworth. But there was no picture attached to the identification, just in case they should try to ask him to prove he was who he said he was. Things went off without a hitch and they got deeper and deeper undercover with the clan eventually becoming an official card carrying KKK member with his card being expedited by the Grand Wizard of the clan David Duke himself. Stallworth was having fun. He was having fun making fools out of them, especially David Duke, who prided himself on his intelligence. And with a twist of fate the story gets deeper. He was actually assigned to guard, Duke, when he came to Colorado Springs. On the day he arrived, January 10, 1979 for a publicity blitz, his chief came to him, and said that they were receiving death threats against Duke. He didn't have anybody else available, and Stallworth was going to be his security. Even though Stallworth was apprehensive based on the fact he figured Duke would recognize his voice from Thera phone conversations and the jig would be up right there. He did what his chief ordered him to do. But when he met with him, he identified himself as a detective A. He never gave his name, he said, I am a detective with the Colorado Springs Police Department. You're receiving death threats and I've been assigned as your security. He told Duke he didn't agree with his political ideology, but he would do everything he could to ensure that he got out of his city safely. He even took a picture with the Duke and the Grand Dragon for a keepsake because who would believe this? Never once did the Grand Wizard recognize the man he spoke with on the phone. Eventually the undercover officers were offered a high-ranking role in their local chapter and that's when the officer's chief felt that his men were getting too close to the source and was reportedly worried about his police department having ties to the hate group. Stallworth work did thwart several cross burnings, him and his white partner were also able to get the names of members within the terrorist group. Two of the members worked at the government organization the North American Air Defense Command, NARAD. In the end his superiors closed the case and ordered all records to be destroyed for whatever reason. But Stallworth somehow kept the records and eventually wrote a book based on the unbelievable case called Black Klansman, Race, Hate, and the Undercover Investigation of a Lifetime. Which was the basis of the Spike Lee directed Black Klansman. Stallworth still has his KKK card in his wallet till this day as a reminder of his part in the fight against racism. Thanks for watching the best stories ever told. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. And if you thought that story was crazy click this video for a really fascinating tale.